Members of the Iglesia de Cristo Worldwide commemorate today the 133rd birth anniversary of the late brother Felix Y. Manalo, whom INC members recognize as God's last messenger. Here's Leander Denver Garcia. On this day, May 10, 2019, members of the Iglesia de Cristo commemorate the 133rd birth anniversary of the late brother Felix Y. Manalo, whom INC members recognize as God's last messenger, as well as the first INC executive minister. Cal Felix, as he is called, first preached about the Iglesia de Cristo in the Philippines. Although the church had humble beginnings, with God's help and guidance, it has now exponentially grown, becoming a solid religious organization with a global reach. Brother Felix Manalo was born on May 10, 1886 in Barrio Calzada, Tipastagig, which was then still under the province of Rizal. His parents were Mariano Isagon and Bonifacio Manalo. His birthplace in Barrio Calzada has been proclaimed by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines as a National Historical Landmark on January 6, 1986. Ka Felix left the Roman Catholic Church when he was still a young man because he realized that its teachings were not in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and then moved from one Protestant denomination to another. In 1904, he entered the seminary of the Methodist Episcopal Church and eventually became a pastor there. He also became a member of the Mission Christiana and of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Ka Felix first preached about the Iglesia de Cristo in Punta Santa Ana, Manila, where the first local congregation of a church was established in the Philippines. The Iglesia de Cristo was officially registered by the Philippine government on July 27, 1914, coinciding with the start of First World War. From few handful members of the first local congregation in Punta Santa Ana in Manila, the church grew and spread in various places. On December 25, 1918, almost a month after the armistice of the First World War, Brother Felix Manalo was officially recognized by the various pastors of the Protestant denominations as a preacher of the Bible. In 1919, Ka Felix went to the United States of America to have extensive studies on the Bible and to further study the other various religions at that time. On March 28, 1931, he was conferred with the Master of Bible Science Honoris Causa by the non-sectarian Genius Divinical College of Manila. The Church of Christ experienced extreme hardship and trials during World War II, especially from the Japanese Imperial Army, but this did not hinder the growth of the Church. After the war, the Church members further grew and various INC local congregations were established throughout the Philippines. Concrete houses of worship of the church were built. Cafelix passed away on April 12, 1963 and left a spiritual legacy to members of the Church of Christ. His dynamic leadership and the preaching of God's words which started in the Philippines continue to bring inspiration and guidance to millions of Church of Christ members not only in the Philippines, but also in various countries reached by the Church. The preaching of Catholics and the various victories of the Church of Christ can be seen in the historical biographical film Felix Manalo, which received various Guinness World Records in 2015 when it was first shown. From then until now, members of the Church of Christ are united with one goal, in actively holding and promoting various programs and activities for just to give glory and praises to the Almighty God. For Eagle News, I'm Leander Denver Garcia. I am one with 25.